Yes, sir. Tripping fours. That's when I know two things. One, I'm throwing the ball good. Two, what's up guys? Brunsnick's back and it's time to introduce the Hitter Pearl. Now the Hitter Pearl complements the original perfectly with the HK22 Utility Pearl Cover Stock Compound Finish. Now I can't wait to see what this one does on the lanes for me with Specto running, of course. But before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's see what this new hitter does out on the lanes. All right, time to talk about the new hitter Pearl. Wrapped around that original hitter asymmetric core, crazy looking core. 2.48 RG, pretty low. Differential 053, pretty high. And intermediate 015. So kind of in that mid range of intermediate, we call that controllable asymmetric. So with the original hitter, was very strong, smooth, sweeping motion. And if we can kind of translate that into the new Pearl with HK22, well, I think we're onto something now. So bowling on crown jewel pattern, my normal 43 foot pattern. Nothing crazy here, just your house shot, big oil in the middle, not a lot the outside. So let's get to it. I got Specto running, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna move in. I'm expecting big things from this ball. Starting on 15 with my left foot. And we're going to move it in, throw some shots in every zone, and see what we see. Okay. Four pin out of the gate. Now, the one thing that I think everybody has noticed with HK22 bowling balls, and we put that stuff on everything, is that the traction in the oil. There's no problem with traction in the oil. The ball gets through the front nice and easy without over skating and going too far behind the head pin. Now obviously we played a straighter angle there, but even on that first shot, throwing it harder, throwing it straighter, the ball still gripped the lane, four pin. So now I know what I'm working with. Let's try another shot there. So adjustment off of that. I think, you know, that's just first shot. I think I can throw it just a touch harder, maybe get in the oil a little longer. Well, it's hard. That was the opposite of senior carry. Mind you, this shirt, I wanted to get the likeness of Phil just right, but just enough different that he can't come at me for likeness rights. So senior carry, now you know the secret of who this guy is. So a little bit of speed, a little bit more oil was just the ticket, the change from four pin to dead flush. Let's throw one more shot there. I like this ball. I like single color bowling balls, old school, gold logos. Yep. Oh man. All right. Wrap 10, what are you gonna do? I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move it in. Whenever I get these pearl bowling balls that are inherently a little more skid flip, got that sweeping motion on the back end, I wanna get in and hook it. I don't want to play straight with a ball like this. I want to wait for the friction to develop, move in and bank off of that friction. So we're moving five, I'm on 20 now. And we're gonna see, I think this is gonna be a really good zone for this ball. Yes, sir. Tripping fours. That's when I know two things, one, I'm throwing the ball good. Two, the ball is rewarding me for getting it off my hand clean. So that ball hooked a lot. I moved in and my natural tendency is gonna wanna slow it down just a little bit, and I did. But I'm not gonna have to slow it down as much as I thought. At least not yet. That ball did all sorts of good things. Better shot, that's going flush. Man. Hits the pocket, and then it looked like it kicked another gear and hooked through the pocket. Almost left a nine pin, nine was the last to go, it looked like. But so far, so good with this hitter pearl. I'm liking it, let's start moving a little bit more because I'm a little eager to get further left. All right, so now we'll be 10 left, first two zones, no problem. See what this utility Pearl HK22 is all about. Oh, 
weren't. That is insane. That ball is just a heat seeker for that eight pin. I don't think I'm gonna leave an eight pin with this ball just because the ball is hooking so much through the pins that it's taking it out. It's not relying on pin action to take it out. The ball is actually taking out the eight. So far, I'm really excited for this ball. Let's throw one more shot here. Here's the test. Here's the test. Okay. Yeah, I got that out a little wider. Felt like. Got it out wider, hit the friction, rolled a little bit more forward. So I didn't quite get all of it on the bottom, but got it to the friction where I needed it, got the right entry angle. Deflect a little bit, but when you hit dead flush like that, a little out of energy, because you're using so much energy to get back through the pins. Send it out wide, it's got a hook. You pay for that on the lane through the pins. So let's move another five. Now 15 left with my feet. Now we're covering some oil. Now we're opening up our angles. Can it do it? Yep. Man, still four pin. This is a good sign. Whenever I leave four pins, when I start moving in, that means the ball has no problem reading the spot and changing directions. That's an easy adjustment for me. Much easier than say if I'm leaving a flat 10 or whatever. You know what I mean? So I know the ball is doing a lot of work. I know the adjustment I need to make. What that adjustment is going to be. I'm still going to hit it hard at the bottom. I'm just going to try to get it down the lane a little quicker. Just a touch more speed, I think. Got it out a little wider, I think, early. I mean, so far, it's holding its own as we're moving in. This is a ball that you can use shiny. You can rough it up with surface. If you're a little more speed dominant. I would say if you're speed dominant, you probably shouldn't have that many shiny balls in your bag. But as the lanes start to transition and you start seeing a lot more friction, then shiny is the way to go sometimes. Let's throw more shot there. I think I can make the right adjustment here. So four pin flush, but not as crazy back endy. Maybe. <laughs> Got that in a little bit more. Look at that hitting power on the back. It's insane. That four pin, I think it was, kicked across the deck. Wave sayonara. So once again, opposite of senior carry with this ball. All right, we got one more adjustment to make. And that is five more left, maybe 20 left. The end of the road. All right. I'm just gonna bring the speed down and see if I four pin again. Ah, all right. Kind of found the end of the road a little bit there where I got that speed down, but I didn't see that early check like I have been seeing in other zones. You know, once we change our launch angle that far, then we start seeing difference in ball performance. So that tells me right there that I need to bring the speed down and get around the side of it more. I need it to tip harder. So let's make it. Let's make it. Like that. <laughs> oh, I trip a lot of four pins to this ball. I'm liking it. I don't normally trip a lot of fours, but when I do, that ball stays in my bag. I can tell you that much. So far in, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna move it back right a little bit. I'm gonna throw one more shot for y'all. Where's a good zone? Where's a good zone? I'm thinking, I'm gonna move back five. The last zone I was in, I think that was pretty darn good. So I'm seeing it on 30. Like I said, I don't like playing this ball super straight. I like to bend this ball a little bit, the asymmetric core, pearl cover. What a ball. I think this is gonna be a ball that we see quite a lot of honor scores with. I know the league season, fall season's just upon us. 
this is a player's ball. This is a ball that I think is going to be highly sought after and a lot of high scores shot with. So that's all for my take on that new hitter, Pearl. I think Phil got it right. He's excited about this one. I'm excited about it too. Check out the merch on Inside Bowling. You can get your own Phil lookalike here with Senior Carry. Talk to you guys soon on another video. Please subscribe. It really helps out. See you guys soon.